In this video, we'll be looking at how to inject JavaScript code on a target machine when a user using the target device opens a web browser and goes to specific websites. We'll be performing this using Kali Linux and a better cup. So the tool we will be using is better cup. And in order to uh, make this possible, we'll need to perform man in the middle using apps uh, spoofing, which will enable in better cup. So the first thing we want to do is we need to uh, create a snippet of a JavaScript code that's going to be uh, presented to the browser or to the website on the target machine. So that's the first thing we need to do. Now, I already created that snippet of code that will pop up and show a message. I'll go ahead and open it, and then I'll show where we need to put it or what file we need to edit uh, within our better cup. Now, open, um, let me open leave part. So this is the, the JavaScript code snippet that I created, ino.js, and I put this in it. So this is the message that's going to pop up. Now this is, uh, you can, there's a lot that can be done, but it's just uh, to demonstrate the basics of how it works. So you need a JavaScript file like this one, and then you want to put it, save it somewhere on your computer and just remember the path to that file. Well, once you have the JavaScript file created, you need to go to your folder where you have your better cup. Now, there's an easy way to find the path for that. You need to open better, better cup. So let's start better cup here and then we'll check. We'll do help. So we're not running any, any of these modules yet. But in order for you to see where your folder is for better cup, you can do couplet.show. And this is the, the path to where your uh, better cup is installed as well, as well as the scripts that you'll be working with. So one of these scripts will need to modify and include the path to that uh, JavaScript file we just created. Now, if you run that command and get an error, you need to run couplet the update and that should download the files for you. Now, once you've determined where that the path to your couplets folder is, you can go to your file system and navigate to it. So the specific one we'll be opening is a HSTS hijack folder and you can just go to the path which is USR, it's a local share, and it's better cup uh, couplet. Now the one we are, we are working with that needs to be edited is the uh, this one right here, HSTS hijack. And this is the file we want to edit. So you'll need to open this and then make changes to this uh, line right here for the payloads, HSTS hijack.payloads. So you want to add at the end of it, the path so start colon then the, the the full path to where you put your file so i put mine in under the root folder and then this is where it is so you need to edit that and then go ahead and save that file once you've completed the changes and now you can go back to better cup and then we'll start man in the middle my target machine is going to be a Windows machine. So, and I can do up dash A to see what I have as far as the default gateway. It's this one right here. And once we do money in the middle, this is my Kali Linux machine. It should have the same MAC address as the default gateway. So this should change to match with this one. That will tell us that we are doing man in the middle. Now let's go ahead and uh, enable the settings for that. Now to do uh, the spoofing, we need, we need to run first help. And this is what we need to enable. It's not running right now. We'll go ahead and enable that. 
So these are the settings. Set up spoof a full text to true. Set up spoof targets. I'll put the IP address of the Windows 11 device. And you can actually just do a help. And that should tell you what's needed to be enabled. And we'll just run that one. Up, spoof, on. And now up spoof is running. And it has detected the target, the dot 14. I'll do help again. And up dot spoof is running. Now, once we have enabled the app spoofing, if we come back to the Windows 11 machine and rerun app-a, you'll see that the MAC address for, this is our Kali Linux machine, is gonna match that of the default gateway because we are now spoofing the default gateway and matching that the MAC address, which tells us now that we are man in the middle. Now that we have that running, we need to enable one more thing, which is going to be just TS hijack, forward slash H S T S hijack again, press enter. And that's running also. Now we can go to the target machine open a browser and now we can go to some websites we'll go ahead and uh, attempt to go to some websites here we'll try unicorn on items and as you can see we're getting a pop-up message same as what we have in our JavaScript snippet. And let's try another site here on property.com. And that one is also getting us the same message. Now this website are saying not secure is because they're using HTTP and not HTTPS. So if you try on a website that using um, HTTPS, like say, say google.com, you're not gonna get that pop-up. So that's it for this video. That's how you inject JavaScript on a target machine using a Kali Linux and BetaCup. Thanks for watching, bye.